And then I met Gary Vaynerchuk. He said, hey, I think we should do a company together. Of course, I'm gonna say yes to that. We started a company called Faith Box, which is a subscription business. Willie has created and sold how many companies? <laughs> Two, <laughs> but he doesn't count the one entrepreneur right here. He posted this thing on LinkedIn about he hasn't been creating videos for a while because he's been building. He's been actually building things. Businesses, people, I'm gonna ask him exactly what he's talking about, but I just wanna get into, I think a lot of you and myself, we get caught up. I'm documenting, documenting, documenting. What happens when that starts taking the precedence over building and how do you course correct and how do you make sure that you still get the stuff that you're trying to get done, done. No small November. Willie, let's do this thing. Guess what's happening today, something rad. Did miss my first train to New York City, but uh, the second one's only an hour behind it, so I think everything's gonna be all right. What happened was I got stuck in rush hour traffic. I forgot it takes like 35 minutes to get into Harrisburg when you come during rush hour. Question is, was it the traffic's fault or my fault? I'm giving you time to, to think about it. It's my fault. It's always as much as possible, the fault is always yours. If the fault's yours, then you control it and you can change it. In other words, if the whole thing wasn't your fault, what part of it was your fault so that you can focus on that and not focus on something that you have no control over? You may be saying to yourself right now, Cody, are you taking the one wheel to New York City? Yes, yes I am. vlog on an Amtrak challenge might be even better because you can see all the the ground moving next to us. Super dope. All right, here we go. Lugging this around. <laughs> so I gotta go over to, what's it called? I think Roosevelt Island, where Cornell Tech is. That's where my first meeting is. You know I brought the helmet, come on. So this is how it feels. This is how you get to Roosevelt Island. Pretty bad place for a consultation, Rob. <laughs> hey man. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Good. Love this place. New York City. So I was just about to go on the tram and then have to ride my one wheel four miles and then uh, Rob was just like. <laughs> There's a ferry from Roosevelt Island. It goes down to Water Street. Uh, one stop, I believe, at 42nd Street. So uh, how much is it, $2.85? <laughs> and it's a ferry. I mean, it's, it's a ferry. So much, it was really great. Really great hanging out. What a radical place, oh my goodness. Next up, Willie Morris. Let's get this thing, Willie. so much more fun than the tram. Made it, all right, Willie, I'm on my way. Thanks a lot. Man, that was awesome, Rob. Thank you, man. Bike lanes. Bike lanes. <laughs> oh, there it is. I saw Willie post something on LinkedIn. I was like, Willie, I need to interview you about that. Should we go somewhere? Yeah, let's look, uh, what, look what Willie's got over in the corner. It's, oh. a, it's a very small niche, but it's a one wheel LinkedIn YouTube crew today. <laughs> it's a very, very small niche. Willie, I like this office, man. Thanks, man. This is real cool. Me, office S, you, your office. <laughs> Legit just uploaded my vlog from Willie's office, so you have him to thank for being able to see yesterday's vlog. There's an elixir bar. An elixir bar? Yeah. I don't even know what word you just said. Elixir. Elixir. Pumper. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Live moss, Live moss, an elixir bar, non-alcoholic, plant-based beverages to make you feel special. Start up, if you ever want to install like a Live moss and elixir bar, that'd be super dope, thanks. 
Just giving my co-working space a hard time. <laughs> oh yeah, you should. <laughs> they better have an elixir bar. As soon as I get back. Yeah, of course. It's not a co-working space unless there's a plant-based, non-alcoholic elixir bar. I remember those days. Having a push. <laughs> my dad's been telling me to get that handle and I haven't gotten it and my leg. Oh no, this is what I was worried about. How did this break? Um, Dotan Negrin, piano round, power slid it. He was taken in his studio, first time on a one wheel, oh, power slid it. Okay, and just right. exploded. Oh yeah. man. It was fun watching. <laughs> first time riding with a gimbal. Too. Yeah, dude, like you're carrying quite the gear. Yeah, this is gonna be really <laughs> embarrassing if Don't I Don't uh, fall, if man. <laughs> Let's just not fall, all right? <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, snowboarding and skateboarding mix. More snowboarding and skateboarding though, for sure. I heard about that thing. I love snowboarding, so I gotta yeah. try. Yeah, man, definitely try it. It's fantastic. Willie, let's do this thing. I have a super bizarre history. I started off doing genetics in college. I ended up going to South Florida, starting an agency down there, getting involved in a bunch of startups, created the first app in the app store where you could side your finger on contracts. Follies of Youth didn't really do anything with it. Uh, ended up selling the agency down there, moving to Seattle, working for Amazon, working for Boeing, uh, leveraging that to move back to New York, where I worked for Superworld.com for like just a few months. It was a stepping stone, let's be honest. We all have those. And then I met Gary Vaynerchuk. He said, hey, I think we should do a company together. Of course, I'm gonna say yes to that. We started a company called Faithbox. It's a subscription business. Rocked it for like two and a half, three years. And I shouldn't say rock, there was a lot of ups and downs. It rocked me a lot of the time too. That ended up selling in 2017, July 2017. Since then, I work with uh, absolutely incredible human being slash NFL Hall of Famer, Curtis Martin, uh, on a, kind of an investment company, but a little bit different than traditional. And I started managing Dan Mace on the YouTubes and that kind of stuff, I don't know, like a couple months ago. That's me. So you hear like Gary Vee talk about documenting versus creating, which is one thing. Instead of trying to create like episodic content or like a show, just documenting what's going on. And this is not this versus that. This is all of that versus actually taking the time to build a strong foundation that your content can then grow off of. Because I think a lot of us, we jump into something and we don't really have something to talk about. We don't actually have a great foundation. And I've definitely been in this trap before. I know it was actually funny when I had my last company, my vlog was literally just me having a creative outlet, talking about that all the time. And then when, when that was done, I felt I, I didn't have any really new foundation to talk about anything. I needed that time to actually take it for myself and figure out what I was gonna build, what I was gonna do next before I thought I had a compelling story. Sure, I might have filmed some of that. I was being really, really careful about making sure that the time I was taking even to film some of that stuff wasn't eating into the time that I needed to actually build something worthwhile. And I think that's that's the, the tension, right? It's taking the time to document and having that time take away from actually building something of value. What should they do to, to keep the focus on where you think it should be? Yeah, I mean, I think I think as creators, right, there's this idea of 100% selflessness where we give 100% of ourselves to our audience and they almost become a priority over ourselves. And I think as a creator, if you're even having those thoughts, you need to take a step back and take that time for yourself because at the end of the day, you have to come before your audience. It's the same thing like, right, in a plane when the oxygen mask comes down, you have to give yourself air before you give it to like even your kid. Like that's a good way to think about it. You have to be in a state where you're well, you're feeling good physically, mentally, before you can provide something valuable for your audience. I think the biggest thing is just make sure you're loving every day and loving life. There's no reason why we shouldn't be on average on like a nine, 10 on the happiness scale every day. And if you're starting to slip, figure out what what and why that why what's going on and like make sure you get back there the, the biggest thing right is just like having every day and loving it and being happy with your life and that i think trumps everything if you can look at your day and be like dude that was an awesome day like i know today is going to be awesome because we were one wheeling and hanging with cody like it's ridiculous maybe not every day is going to be that high but like it should be overall positive good vibes and if not take a step back 
Address your audience if you feel like you need to, but take a step back, get it worked out. Uh, I'm gonna do the Mountie. Peter and Chris, this one's for you. <laughs> I got separated! <laughs> Listen, one wheel. <laughs> Dude, thank you again, man. Dude, anytime. If you're ever down in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, would love to chill. Heck yeah, I might bring the one wheel down just to come Bring cruise. it. We yeah. can do some off-road stuff yes. down there. All right. All right, homie. Thanks, man. Peace, have a good trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a break. Panasonic GH5. Yeah, okay. Yep. M mirrorless. Yeah, mirrorless, yep. Uh, train was delayed an hour, so getting in a little bit later than normal. You never know when you're gonna need a helmet. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, you wonderful people. Hit subscribe, hit like, drop a comment, it means a lot. Thank you.